Hey everyone, as you can see here, I have my Yule phone or Yule phone, Yule phone X, this one is, the brand is Yule phone. And if you look at the design here, you can see that, let's be honest, this is an iPhone X clone. They're not even really hiding it. Um, on the back here, you can see it is all screen. It uses the MT6763 octa-core CPU. 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. It does have a fingerprint sensor. Dual rear camera, 16 and 5 megapixels. 5.85 inch screen. 3300 milliamp battery and Android 8.1, which, you know, my HTC U11 is still on, H uh, still on Android 8. Um, now, the website tells you more information about this. If you want to check that out, please, I'll leave a link to it and you can check it out. Um, it tells you all about the features. I bought mine from Banggood. Um, it says £123 there, approximately. I picked it up for £115. Um, I had to pay t £11 today for customs tax, import tax, but I also got like £7 um, off with ca uh, cash back. And I think it was top cash back I used or Quidco in the UK. So it worked out about £120 all in. So in this video, I just want to show you what's in the box. It isn't actually taped up there. There's nothing to cut. There was nothing else in the box as far as the receipt or anything like that from Banggood. So let's see what £120 gets you. Must admit, that is... Very nice. That is very nice. Sorry, I was on the, well, away from the camera there, but yeah, that is very, very nice. Um, quite weighty, actually. It's quite heavy. Uh, in a good way, though. It's not too heavy, but it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I like this. Very, very nice. And you can see I went for the white version there, um, and it's got the, the dual camera there. I'm amazed that this was only £120 because it has the look and feel of a much more expensive phone. So you can see the speakers there, USB Type-C. We've got the headphone jack at the top, something which I don't have with this. Volume rocker, power card slot, which it shows you there. First impressions, I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. For the price, this is an amazing little phone. So let's see what else is in the box. You've got the SIM card ejector. We've got a screen protector by the looks of it. I'm surprised they threw that in. That's quite impressive. Yeah, that's pretty good to throw in a, a screen protector. So we've got a user manual, which looks like it's in a lot of different languages. So they throw in an OTG cable, which is useful if you want to use a USB flash drive. That's always handy. There's a two-prong US adapter. I might just leave that in the bag because I have no use for it. Um, but that's just a USB type A there. And probably one of the negatives of the phone is that this isn't type C, it is micro B. If you look at the phone here, fingerprint reader, I think it's in a good position. So what I'm gonna do quickly um, is just take this off. Please peel off this mask after application completed. Ooh, sexy. So let's summarize the unboxing. It comes with a SIM ejector. You get an OTG cable. You get a micro B on one end, type A USB on the other end. You get a two prong US power adapter, USB, of course. You get a warranty card. You get a user manual and you get a screen protector. Now, what I didn't notice at first, if you look here and you can see that I've started the installation process already, is that you can see there, you see it there? There is already a screen protector there. I, I really didn't even notice there that that was there before. Um, so, you know, it's pretty good what they throw in. Um, 
This is my HTC U11. This is my new Ulephone X. This is a little bit bigger, but you can see the bezels are larger here. Um, this one's in a case just now. But if I take it out, um, you can see that it's a little bit thicker. That is a little bit thicker. Um, I must say though, this it looks fantastic in this white at the back. I like where the cameras are placed and the fingerprint sens sensor is kind of like where the Nexus 6P had it. So if I turn it off, there we go. Um, I have Nova Launcher installed, but I went for the default operating system here as far as all the buttons and all that. You can see I'm installing all my apps. Um, and there's everything else here. So this is just installing. Um, what I'm planning to do is use this as my main phone. I've already put my SIM card in. I'm going to be using it as my main phone. I'm going to be testing the camera. I'm going to be setting it up and using it on a daily basis to find out what I like about it, what I don't like about it, see how it uh, performs against a flagship phone, see what it's like as far as speed and all that goes, uh, as far as battery goes as well. But to be honest, at £120 so far, I am very happy with this phone. Thanks for watching the unboxing, guys, and stay tuned for more videos uh, about this phone, the Yulephone X.